Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt, and today I want to talk about technology and language learning. And this is kind of a, a fun, interesting subject, maybe a little bit different than what I normally talk about, but it is um, a subject that I think is kind of interesting because you know I've seen in a lot of cases um, people that approach language learning almost as if um, they're like kind of stuck in the past. And the thing about it is that with all the technology that we have today, um, language learning is is more effective and easier than it ever has been. Um, you know, there's so many apps to choose from. There's so many free resources out there. There's so many ways to approach everything. You know, there's just tons of free audio content. There's tons of free language learning apps. There's ways to talk and communicate with other people and practice your speaking. Um, you know, it's really amazing. And even from just, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, 10, 20 years ago, you know, a lot of these resources didn't exist or they didn't really exist to the scale that they exist at now, um, especially before the internet. You know, I mean, um, people had to rely on less effective ways probably to acquire vocabulary, to go out and seek people um, to practice speaking with, you know, and, and things like that. So I think that kind of when you when you think about it and, and you're learning a language and maybe you get discouraged, you know, try to take uh, that confidence and appreciation that, you know, it's it's now easier than ever to learn a language and you can do it. Um, and people were, were successful at learning languages before all these resources, so you can do it too. You know, I mean, it really is um, amazing what is available now. So, you know, I mean, just from the perspective of prior to the internet, right? I mean, if you wanted to find audio content, you know, you're probably going to have to go to that country to to listen to radio shows or, or TV or things like that, or go buy audio content, right? Versus having something like YouTube, where there's just tons of audio content you can listen to for free. Same goes for speaking, right? You can get conversation partners online for free or paid ones, um, but in the past, you'd have to go seek those people out. It would be way more difficult. Same goes for vocabulary. You know, these SRS flashcard systems didn't work. You might have had to make flashcards by hand, get books to read them, um, you know, like just and, and do a less efficient way to acquire vocabulary. Same with something like reading, right? Um, you don't have a Google Translate. You have to look up words in this dictionary. It's a very tedious process. So, you know, I think that sometimes it's important to just think about, you know, what we have available to us and to have that appreciation that like it's just so much easier and so much better and so much more fun to learn a language. So I think that appreciation is important, especially when you're facing difficulties, you're discouraged or whatever it is when you're learning a language. Now, what I think is interesting though is that in a lot of ways, language learning is still like, uh, I think for some people, stuck in this past, right? I mean, if you go to a, a bookstore and you go to a language section, it's it's really interesting to find there's so many books at the bookstore dedicated to language learning. And you know, I think some of them are probably okay, but there's a lot of them that it's just, they're really ineffective methods, right? And they cost you money, right? There's probably more efficient ways to learn a language than all these language learning resources that you see at the bookstore, but there's an entire shelf, there's an entire real estate space in the store dedicated to it, which is almost goes to show you that I think that there is some of this dynamic where people are still thinking in the past on how to learn a language. Uh, even some language learning blogs I've seen online, whether maybe it's just footage to use in the video, but it's it's almost like they're resorting to uh, vocabulary lists by hand and reviewing it like like as if it was 30 years ago. Um, you know, why do that when you have the ability to read in a foreign language or use SRS flashcard systems? And I understand that probably for certain languages, there's less resources out there, right? For less commonly spoken languages, you probably don't have as much resources and you have to maybe rely on some things like that. But I mean, I've even seen it for very common, very popular languages. So, you know, I think that a lot of people that probably watch these videos are very tech savvy anyways, but I think it's important to just always ask yourself, what can I do that's more effective in my language learning, right? Can I use technology that I'm not using right now? Am I really stuck and comfortable with using this language learning book or whatever it is? Because there are so many resources available online for completely free that you can use um, in your language learning, effective methods. And even if you want to kind of take the paid route, there's tons of paid option uh, language learning apps and things like that that are very effective, right? So I think that sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, some of these books and these older methods and resources are good and effective, 
but don't neglect the technology because that really is making language learning just so much easier, so much, uh, so much more fun and, and exciting in general. So that's why I had to say on the subject, I think it's important to just have that appreciation for what we have now. Um, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.